Aliens are draining Earth's lakes and dams using a special pipe and leaving behind a strange chemical. Dr. Sanjanat is investigating the chemical to learn more about its properties and potential uses. Mehul's phone was damaged, so he has bought a new one and backed up all his data on the new phone via email. Mehul and Alia then immediately head towards Dr. Sunjana's lab. Alia is driving the scooter too fast, which is making Mehul a little nervous. Alia, slow down the speed of the scooter. Sir, you don't have to worry. I am capable of driving a scooter at a higher speed. The aliens have caused us enough stress, and if we crash the scooter, it will only add to our troubles. Stop the vehicle quickly. You can sit behind me, and I'll drive the scooter. Mehul takes the scooter, and they both arrive at Dr. Sanjana's lab. The lab door is locked with a logical password. The password is, rat, cat, dog, then what? Can you tell what comes in place of the question mark? Let me know your answer by commenting. A cat hunts a mouse, a dog hunts a cat, and only a lion can hunt a dog. Mehul presses the button with the number 3, and the lab door opens. As Mehul and Alia enter the lab, Dr. Sanjana shows them a brown-colored powder. This powder is very special. It cannot be found anywhere on Earth. It seems like this powder is from the soil of another planet, and it is no less than an acid. If we put this powder in a glass filled with water, all the water in the glass will turn into gas and evaporate. Interesting. Very, very interesting. It seems like the aliens are using this powder to dry out the lakes on Earth. Nobody understands why the aliens are extracting water from the lakes. Mehul calls Adi again to get some updates from him about the aliens, but Adi has no new information. Determined to learn more about the aliens, Mehul decides to visit the Bulbulea scientist's place. The scientist has created a maze to reach his house. Can you tell which path, A, B, C, D, or E, is leading to the scientist's house? Let me know your answer by commenting. Path B is leading to the scientist's house, like this. Mehul takes the path. Upon arriving at the scientist's house, Mehul is amazed to see the scientist working on a unique gun. The scientist explains that the gun is not meant for killing but for detecting. When fired, it is completely painless, and a microchip sticks to the person's body, which can then be tracked. Scientist, the city is under threat from aliens. Is there anything special that I can use to fight them? The scientist tells Mehul that he doesn't have anything like that because he doesn't know much about the aliens. However, he has made a spring gun that might help him. Mehul takes the spring gun and goes back home. As night falls, Mehul is waiting for the aliens. It's already midnight, but he hasn't received a call from Adi. Adi still isn't calling. I hope everything is okay. Mehul immediately calls Adi to ask about the aliens, but Adi informs him that the spaceship has not yet landed on Earth. Disappointed, Mehul takes his telescope and sits on the roof of his house, hoping to catch a glimpse of the aliens. However, the entire night passes, and the aliens do not arrive. The next morning, Mehul receives another case to solve in a different city. He packs his bags and leaves for the new destination. After a week, Mehul receives an unexpected call from Adi, who tells him that the system has detected signals from the alien spaceship. This means the aliens are coming back. I have to go to Adi's place immediately. Mehul rushes to Adi's place on his bike, but unfortunately, he ends up falling into a large pothole on the way. Despite being hurt, Mehul manages to stand up. Who made this pothole in the middle of the road? I'm in trouble now. Mehul goes to check his bike and realizes that all the petrol has leaked out, leaving the tank empty. He tries to start the bike, but it won't start. Just then, a car passes by, but Mehul doesn't ask for a lift. Why? Logical army, can you guess? Let me know your answer by commenting. Mehul doesn't ask for a lift from the car that passes by because it's going in the opposite direction. Two minutes later, a police car pulls up, and Mehul requests a ride. The police officer obliges and gives him a lift, but Mehul chooses not to mention the aliens so as not to cause any alarm in the city. Sir, 
I need to get to my friend Adi's house as soon as possible. He is not feeling well. The police officer drops Mehul off outside Adi's house and assures him that he will arrange for his bike to be towed. Mehul thanks the officer and hurries inside to meet Adi. Sir, you took so long to arrive, and your phone is also switched off. What can I say? My bike lost balance on the way, and I have a minor injury. Adi hands Mehul a first aid box, and Mehul starts bandaging his injury. What's the update on the aliens? The alien spaceship is traveling continuously, that's why I am not able to track their exact location. Mehul and Adi spends almost an hour tracking the alien spaceship, and finally, they locate it near a large dam, about two kilometers away from the city. The aliens are at the location of a large dam this time, instead of a pond. They seem to be targeting the dam, and we need to stop them. Adi and Mehul hop on Adi's bike and speed towards the dam. They reach near the dam, where they see a man. Upon seeing the man, Mehul immediately understands that something is wrong. Logical Army, can you tell what is bothering Mehul? Let me know your answer by commenting. Pay close attention to the footprints near the man, they are handprints, just like the ones Mehul has seen in the previous two places. They are not able to see things clearly because of the darkness. Adi, turn on the torch on your phone. What if these are not humans, but aliens? But just as Adi is about to turn on his torch, the spaceship of the aliens emerges from the dam, startling both Adi and Mehul, who are petrified. So, the aliens had hidden their spaceship inside the dam, which is why we couldn't see it. Adi shines his phone's torch towards the man, and to their shock, they realize that he is actually an alien. Just then, the alien spaceship starts to ascend upwards into the sky. Adi, distract the alien while I take care of their spaceship. Mehul retrieves the spring gun given by the scientist and aims at the spaceship. He pulls the trigger, and a thin string shoots out, successfully attaching to the spaceship. The spaceship starts to ascend rapidly. This is not good. I might get stranded in space. Mehul presses the second button on the gun and loses contact with the spaceship. He falls straight down into the water of the dam, despite the deep water. Mehul manages to swim to the surface and looks around. Then he uses the gun to target a nearby tree, presses the second button, and is rapidly pulled to the tree. This gun is amazing. Adi calls out to Mehul. Sir, I'm here. Mehul goes to Adi, who has tied up the alien with his shirt. Well done, Adi. The alien may have escaped in the ship, but we have the alien in our hands now. Let's extract all the information we can from it. Mehul and Adi take the alien to Dr. Sunjana's lab. Dr. Sunjana start her experiments on the alien. No one was unable to understand the language of that alien. I can't understand what it's saying. We should seek the help of Bolbalea scientist. Perhaps Bolbalea scientist may have a system that can decode its language. As Mehul was about to head towards the Bolbalea scientist's house, Alia arrives. Great sir, you've caught an alien, I'll take a selfie with this alien. Wait, Alia. No one should take a selfie with alien. If the photo goes viral, even by mistake, it could cause problems. Mehul sets off towards the house of Bolbalea scientist in his car. To reach his house, Bolbalea scientist had created a maze. Logical army, can you tell me which path leads to Bolbalea scientist's house? Let me know you answer by commenting. Mehul takes path B and reaches Bolbalea scientist's house. The scientist is engaged in some work inside his laboratory. What are you making, Bolbalea scientist? I am making a special mango bomb to fight the aliens. Mango bombs look like mangoes, but if they are hit hard, they will blast. I need your help to decode the language of alien. I have a special machine that can decode any language. Mehul and Bolbalea scientist immediately set out for Dr. Sunjana's lab with that machine. However, on the way, Mehul notices a bike with two people wearing black helmets. How is this possible? There must be something wrong. Logical Army, can you tell me what seems wrong to Mehul? Tell me your answer by commenting. Observe closely, the bikers have put on their helmets the wrong way. How can they ride a motorcycle with their helmets on backward? 
Mayhul accelerates his car and overtakes their bike. He steps out of the car and asks them to take off their helmets, but they refuse. Mayhul takes out his gun, but suddenly, both of them start flying in the air, and their bike turns into a rocket. Interesting, very very interesting. What is this thing? They turn into aliens and start firing at Mayhul with their special rocket before he can do anything. He hides under his car to save his life while they continue to fire at him from the other side. Although his car is bulletproof, the alien's bullets are penetrating through it. How is this possible? My car is bulletproof. Mayhul get me out of the car first. Mayhul immediately helps the scientist get out of the car through the back door. Just then, a bullet passes through Mayhul's leg, causing him to fall. Scientist, what kind of bullet is this? My leg feels completely numb. The aliens keep firing continuously and Mayhul is unable to stand up. The scientist has brought a mango bomb with him, he quickly takes out the mango bomb from the car and throws it towards the aliens. The mango bombs start to blast, and the aliens run away in fear. Scientist Bulbulea, my whole body is getting cold, take me quickly to Dr. Sunjana's lab. Scientist takes Mayhul in the car, and they are head towards Dr. Sunjana's lab. The lab door was locked with a logical password. Table tennis, snooker, soccer, and chess, one of them is odd one out. Logical army, can you tell me which one is odd one out among these four? Let me know your answer by commenting. Except for soccer, the remaining three are indoor games, but soccer is an outdoor game. Upon pressing the chess button, the lab door opens. Scientist supports Mayhul on his shoulder and takes him inside the lab. Seeing Mayhul stumbling, Alia immediately comes to him. Oh god, sir what happened to you? I was hit by an alien bullet on my leg. Fortunately, it just grazed my leg. Oh no, sir your body is getting very cold. Before Alia could talk to Mayhul any further, Mayhul faints. Dr. Sunjana immediately starts treating Mayhul. Mayhul's blood started clotting. To save him Dr. Sunjana gives him a high-dose injection. Mayhul regains consciousness. Dr. Sunjana, I am feeling dizzy. Mayhul I administered a high-dose injection to you because your blood was clotting. Alia gives Mayhul a glass of cold juice. Alia, why did you put salt in the juice? Um, sir I thought it would enhance the taste of the juice. As Mayhul begins to drink the juice, there was an attack on the lab. Dr. Sunjana, show me the CCTV footage outside the lab quickly. As soon as Mayhul sees the CCTV footage outside the lab, his eyes widen in shock. There are many aliens standing outside the lab, holding different kinds of weapons in their hands. Alia, give everyone a gun, there's going to be a fierce fight. Mayhul also takes mango bombs from the scientist. Aliens begin firing at the lab. Sir, it seems like they have discovered that we have concealed one of their aliens here. Mayhul's mind instantly grasps Alia's words, and he charges towards the alien. The alien was using his watch to send signals to other aliens, alerting them to his location inside the lab. Mayhul quickly seizes the watch from the alien. On the other side, aliens are continuously shooting the lab, and as a result the lab of Dr. Sunjana starts to demolish. There are only three or four of us, and so many aliens attacking. How can we possibly compete with them? Logical Army, do you have any ideas to stop the aliens from firing at the lab? Comment your idea below. If Mayhul takes the watch of the alien and leaves, the other aliens will track the signal and come to that location. Mayhul quickly takes out the spring gun and opens the window behind the lab. He aims the gun at the building in front and fires. The force of the spring propels Mayhul forward at a bullet-like speed, allowing him to reach the other building in no time. Alia was surprised to see this. Wow, that's incredible. It seems like Mayhul, sir, has acquired some supernatural powers. It's not supernatural powers, but the amazing technology of my spring gun. Please, sir. I also want such in this amazing gun. As the lab roof starts collapsing, Alia urges everyone to evacuate. Meanwhile, Mayhul uses the alien watch to signal the aliens to follow him, and they start moving towards the other building. The aliens abandon their attack on Dr. Sunjana's lab and head towards the new location. Oh no, it seems like I made a mistake. I need to leave this building immediately. Logical Army, can you think why did Mayhul had to leave the building? Let me know your answer by commenting.
logical army, look closely, there is a burning candle next to Mehul, indicating that someone has recently lit it, which suggests that someone may be inside this house. If I stay here with this watch, the aliens will destroy the entire building. Mehul quickly grabs the alien watch and starts running away from the house. The aliens are firing continuously at Mehul, but he manages to dodge their shots. A bullet grazes past Mehul, narrowly missing him. I need to find a place to hide, or else the aliens' bullets will kill me. While running, Mehul spots three houses ahead of him. Logical army, can you guess which house Mehul will choose to hide in? Let me know your answer by commenting. The first house has a woman hanging clothes in the balcony, the second house has a small child playing in the balcony, but the third house is empty as the entire family has left in a car and locked the door. This means that the third house is empty, and it will be perfect for Mayhul. No one will be harmed in this. Mayhul runs towards the third house. Mayhul breaks the lock with a strong kick and goes inside the house. The aliens start firing at the house from all sides, causing destruction everywhere. A bullet from one of the aliens hits the TV next to Mayhul, reducing it to a pile of debris. The aliens' bullets aren't stopping. I have to take action. Mayhul places the alien watch inside the house and quickly returns to Dr. Sunjana's lab using his spring gun. Mayhul quickly takes mango bombs from the scientist and sets off towards the aliens with Adi in his car. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot that my car is equipped with a firearm. Mayhul activates the firing system of his car, and his car starts firing. He continues firing from his car and Adi starts throwing mango bombs at the aliens. The aliens get scared and run away from there. What will happen next? Will the scientist's machine be able to decode the language of the aliens? Let's see in the next episode.